Charlie Brown and Friends have been delighting children and adults since the Peanuts comic strip first appeared in print in 1950. The Peanuts was the longest-running and most popular comic strip ever. In 1967, Clark Gessner adapted it into a musical, which became a successful Broadway and off-Broadway production. Charlie Brown, Linus and the rest of the gang have now come to Jerusalem, courtesy of the AACI Theatre and the J-Town Playhouse. You're a Good Man Charlie Brown will run from November 22 through December 2, with 10 performances in all, including a special Thanksgiving event featuring a dinner at La Golanda followed by an 8 p.m. Show director Abiella Tripido sat down with the Jerusalem Post to discuss the allure of childhood, finding happiness in the small things, and why Charlie Brown appeals to everyone, adults and kids alike. Be the first to know, join our Facebook page. Function, D, S, I, D, Var, J, S, F, J, S equal D get elements but tag name, S, 0, if, D get element be it, I, D, return, J S equal D creatilement, S, J S dot I D equal I D, J S S R C equal slash slash connect Facebook dot net slash N underscore us slash all J S number X F B M L equal one and app ID equal one six three four one four eight zero six eight nine seven F J S parent node insert before J S F J S document script Facebook J S S D K Can you describe the show for those who may not be familiar with it? It's based on the Peanuts comics by famous cartoonist Charles Schultz. I grew up with Snoopy and the gang, and read the comics from a very young age. To find out that there was a musical about it was super exciting. It was also adapted into an animated television show in 1985. I grew up watching that as a kid. We would always sing the songs in the car as a family. When the opportunity arose for me to direct it, I couldn't pass it up. It was exciting, almost like bringing my childhood memories onto the Jerusalem stage. It doesn't get any cooler than that. Up until now, I've done a lot of Stephen Sondheim and other, serious work, so it was a pleasure to step away from that and do something really fun, different, and high energy yes, it's definitely different from previous productions that you've directed. How has that been for you? In the beginning, I thought I was taking a step away from anything serious and doing something that's what I like to call fluff. But I discovered very quickly that that wasn't necessarily the case. As a director, to warm up my cast, we start every rehearsal with a good memory and a not-so-good memory from childhood. We go around the room, playing with a ball of yarn, and we create a web. I ask them to infuse those memories into their character. That has brought up so many beautiful elements it's personalized everybody's role to such a great extent. I never even saw it coming so even though it is a fluffy show, it reminds us all of the carefree innocence and happiness of being a child, but also how profound it is to be a child, how the world looks through a child's eyes. It's much deeper than we can even fathom as adults. With the actors bringing their own memories to the surface, it has brought out so many beautiful, poignant moments in the show. It's been an evolution, and I'm very proud of my cast, they're really incredible.